Despite this, Britain is one of the largest convertible markets in the world. Yet until now, if you wanted a small stylish convertible, the choice was simple. You went and bought one of these. The Mini Convertible. OK, it might not be the prettiest convertible around, but the combination of the Mini's classy image, great drive and fun cabin made you forget about its failings. And boy does the little Mini have some failings. First off, it's seriously cramped back here. And the boot is absolutely tiny. And the other problem with the Mini is it's not fast. Nobody ever buys a Cooper convertible for 15995 This car, for example, has optional hot chocolate leather seats. It also has 16-inch alloys and the optional chili pack. This car costs £19,000. That's big money for a small car. The good news is, for the first time in the Mini's reign, it has some proper competition. With the recent arrival of the equally chic, better packaged, full of fun, far cheaper, Fiat 500. Just look at the space after the Mini. You can actually fit a real human here. Boot space is better too. With prices kicking off at eleven thousand seven hundred pounds and stretching to around fourteen and a half grand, the five hundred C is significantly cheaper than the Mini convertible. Question is, is this a convertible? Not really. Instead of cutting the roof off the cheeky Cinquecento, Fiat has instead opted to give it this huge sunroof. OK, it might not be a full convertible, but if it rains, you can close it while you're driving. In fact, you can raise and lower the roof to your heart's content at speeds of up to 38 miles per hour. Fiat has given this 500 more than a hatchet job. In fact, it comes with its own unique rear suspension that's actually been pinched by the Ford car, the sister car to the 500. What do we think of the new settings? Would you believe this convertible is the best driving 500 out there? But is it a mini beater? <sighs> Predictably, no. The Mini's got better steering, better body control, more grip, and is more fun. Well, the Fiat isn't bad. There we have it, we've just spent a day driving the Mini Convertible and a Fiat 500C. But the crucial question is, what's better? Well, the Mini still tops the Fiat for the drive, but if you want something a little bit more spacious and far cheaper, the Fiat 500C has the Mini licked. <laughs>